Brian Lavery does not belong here. I do not want him sitting behind me. Sit down, Miss Hayward. Your Honor. That's enough. Really. Sit. Thanks. Now. Approach, Your Honor. Good idea. Get your client under control, Mr. Montgomery. My apologies, Your Honor. I had no idea she was going to do that. Oh, lover spat. Watch it. My client seemed to be upset by Mr. Lavery's presence in the courtroom just as we were about to get underway. She asked him to leave and he refused. And one more outburst like that, she'll be sitting in a separate room with the video feed for the remainder of this trial. I am a little concerned about his presence here, do you suppose? You know, if it's going to bring order back to this room, I'd be happy to oblige. Thank you, Judge. Bailiff. Hey, hey, okay, all right. Not cool. All right, I get it. Did I tick off the judge? Just a bit. So I actually thought I could have killed David Hayward. Ah, uh, you know what? We're having a nice breakfast. And uh, I'm uh, trying to relax, so why don't we just talk about something else? Wait a minute. You talking about relaxing? I know something's up. Well, it's no secret that you hated David and how much he hurt people. And I'm almost glad that someone got to him before you found out. Angela, what are you not telling me? That David is responsible for a lot more damage than you know. What more damage to whom? Me. David is responsible for me being blind. Okay, let me just drop all the stuff at the front desk and then Where we can... Where do you think you're going? Uh, well, my husband is back. I, I thought you understood. I understand that there's another floor to clean and that they're serving pudding down there. Anything we can do to make this pudding problem go away? Save the charm for your wife, handsome. Speak and span. Spick and span. Uh, uh, what? Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, I can't. No, I, I can't believe this. All I want to do is be with you, and I have to scrub toilets. I'll help you. We'll clean, and then we'll play floor hockey. No, no, absolutely not, Zach. Forget it. I can't let you do that. The sooner we get done, the sooner we can go home together. Mm, the two of us together. You have no idea how good that sounds. Zach, I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if you'd come back. But you did. And you're here. And you want to stay. And maybe you've even forgiven me. Oh, maybe. Really? You warned me a million times. You said if we came back to Pine Valley, I would do what I always do. I would get sucked back into all the drama. And you were right. And I'm sorry. It's over. Well, I, I needed to understand why I did it. Greenlee did not kill David. But she was trapped in this horrible, horrible situation. <clears throat> I saw the chance to help her, and I took it. And I, you have every right to be disappointed in me. Six years ago, I met this woman. Incredible woman. It's complicated. Emotional. She does things without really thinking of what the ramifications might be. She loves her family and her friends, and sometimes she has to pay the price. You know what? I knew all that when I fell in love with her. I'm not gonna change her now. Madison, I... Save it. I know you don't want me here, but I'm here, so let's just get past that. Why are you sitting out here? Uh, Greenlee had me kicked out, so... You don't sound too upset about it. No, what are you gonna do? So you knew she was... You wanted this to happen. Is that why you insisted on coming here alone today? What are you up to? Call your next witness, Mr. Montgomery. The defense calls Nick Pearson. Pearson? Wait a minute, I was thinking of 
Was he at the party? Well, I'm not sure. We deposed him, didn't we? He had nothing relevant to say. Uh, no, Pearson was at the hotel during the party, checked out that night. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, at least that's what he told us, right? Uh, Your Honor, permission to approach? Your Honor, according to the deposition that we took from the witness, he has nothing relevant. Uh, we have no idea what he could possibly testify about. Well, maybe you would like Mr. Montgomery to give you his questions. No, Your Honor. Mr. Pearson was on the witness list. Perhaps you should have been more thorough with your preparations. Now sit down, Miss Colby. What the hell is going on? Who is that guy? Like I said, trust me. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Me neither, but I, I do. I accept you, all of you. But I drive you insane. Yeah, you do. But I don't think you do it on purpose, do you? No. I'm sorry. I wasn't straight with you. When we... When we left Pine Valley and went on the boat, I... I did everything I could to picture life away from here. Just you, me, and the boys. But I couldn't. I mean, I love you guys so much, but my heart is still in Pine Valley. And I know you don't feel the same way, and I understand that, but it's been killing me. I thought I had to choose. Well, you don't. You don't have to worry anymore. I'm here. We're home. For good. You lost your sight because of that kid when he came into the, uh, the ER. Ramon, you picked up that infection from him. That's only part of the story. Tell me the rest. When Ramon was brought in, he needed immediate attention, and thanks to David's cuts, there was no specialist on duty, so I jumped in while they tried to track someone down. Yeah, I, I remember. I was there. When Ramon went into respiratory distress, I looked for a mask and gloves, but there weren't any in the room, so I, I sent a nurse to go get some. But there wasn't time. If I didn't treat that child, he was going to die. And so I did. Unprotected. So this... This infection, uh, you lost... Because of David Hayward's cutbacks. Why didn't you say anything to me, Angela? I was honestly afraid you would kill him. I'm so sorry, babe. You know, I, I wasn't entirely honest before about being willing to testify at Greenlee's trial because what I would say... What I would have said about her husband and what he did. I... She's going through enough. So I didn't want to lay this on her, too. Well, lay it on me. Now. What? Tell me what you would have said if you had to take the stand. I mean, you've been holding this inside for way too long. I... I would have said that... David Hayward was single-handedly destroying Pine Valley Hospital. That he cared more about the bottom line than human lives. And I, I can't entirely blame him for what happened to me, but I can blame him for forcing me to make a terrible choice. A choice that will affect the rest of my life, my family, my career. And thanks to how rotten and cold-hearted he was, I, I won't be able to see 
her baby. His first smile. His, his first steps. And instead, I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark and he sees not to hate, but I swear to God, I hate David Hayward. I hate him, Jesse. I hate him. You weren't upset that Liza twisted my words, were you? Let me explain. And that's why Jackson didn't cross-examine me. He wanted the jury to believe that you and Greenlee were still in love. Madison. And you're going along with it. Acting like you can't stay away from Greenlee. And what, you'll, you'll keep coming back, keep convincing the jury that you want her? Even if she claims to not want you? If the jury believes that... Then I become the prime suspect. Mr. Pearson, were you a guest at the Yacht Club the night that David Hayward was murdered? Yes, I was staying at the hotel. I was in Pine Valley for business. Did you attend the party on the terrace that night? Actually, no. I was checking out while the party was still going on. Did you see anything unusual as you were leaving the hotel? I ran into a man in the hallway outside of my room. He was acting kind of strange. Strange? How so? He was dazed, disoriented. I thought he was probably drunk. Did you say anything to him? I asked him if he was okay. Did he respond? Yes. He said someone was going to die tonight. 